hey guys today's project is a crochet rose these are the materials that i used for the yarn i used a red yarn for the petals and green yarn for the stem and sepals then i used a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook a darning needle a pair of scissors some super glue and a straw if you don't have a straw you can also use bamboo skewers and for the super glue you can also use a hot glue gun we're going to start by making a slip knot like this insert your crochet hook and make 66 chains this is what it's going to look like when we're done so now we're going to yarn over Turn our work around and skip five chains. In the sixth chain, we're going to make a double crochet like this. Now we're going to make the pattern that will repeat on this row. So you yarn over, skip two chains. In the third chain, make a double crochet. Chain two. Then make a double crochet in the same hole. You can see that this forms an upward facing V and a downward facing V so we're going to repeat this throughout the row so you yarn over skip two chains and third chain make a double crochet then chain two and make a double crochet in the same hole then we repeat it again this is what it's going to look like so now we're going to make the final V so you yarn over skip two chains and the final chain make a double crochet then chain two and make a double crochet in the same stitch. Chain two, turn your work around and make a double crochet in the hole. Then chain three and make two double crochets in that same hole now we'll make the pattern that will repeat on this row so in the next V make two double crochets chain three and make two double crochets in the same hole then repeat it in the next V two double crochets chain three and another two double crochets
now we're going to make the final v so yarn over make two double crochets then chain three and make another two double crochets This is the end of this row so now we're going to make the next row to begin chain one and turn your work around in the space we formed before make seven double crochets In the space between the four double crochets, make a single crochet. Then the next space, make seven double crochets. Make a single crochet in the space between the four double crochets. This is what it's going to look like. It's going to form curved shapes like this. So we're going to repeat this till we have three V's remaining. So you make seven double crochets in the space, then one single crochet in between the four double crochets. This is the result, so now it's remaining 3 spaces. Instead of making 7 double crochets, we'll make 8 double crochets in the first space. Make a single crochet into the space between the four double crochets and make nine double crochets in the next space. single crochet in between the four double crochets and make 10 double crochets in the final space this is what it's going to look like when we're done so now make a slip stitch into the final space chain two pull your wool and cut it now we're going to sew in the loose end so take your tiny needle and insert your yarn then sew it in Now we're going to make the sepals. 
that's the green parts so grab your green yarn and make a magic circle like this chain two and make six half double crochets in the magic circle When we're done, pull the yarn and make a slip stitch. Chain 6. Skip the first chain and in the second chain make a slip stitch. In the third chain, make a single crochet. In the fourth chain, make a half double crochet. In the fifth and sixth chains, make double crochets. Make a slip stitch to connect it and to make the next sepal chain 6 and repeat what we did in the first one. In the second chain make a slip stitch, in the third chain make a single crochet, In the fourth chain, make a half double crochet. In the fifth and sixth chains, make double crochets. And make a slip stitch to connect it. To make the next sepal, we chain 6 and repeat what we did in the first and second sepals. After making the sepals, make a slip stitch to secure it. Chain 2, pull your wool and cut it. These are the two ways to wrap the rows, so I'm going to show you how to make them. The first way, we wrap it inward like this. Now we're going to do the second way, that's wrap it outward. This is what it's going to look like. So you choose the way you want to wrap it. I prefer the second way, so that's what I'm going to use.
that's it for today's tutorial till next time bye